Now, your news on the go. In DeWitt, the Chili's where two employees were killed early Saturday morning, it's now back open again. And police say workers Steve Goodneck and Chris Hicks were shot by William Wood Jr. Wood was a former employee who police say was trying to steal cash from the restaurant. He's now facing murder and robbery charges. A permanent memorial has now been placed at the restaurant in honor of the two who were killed. The Central Square American Legion is set to stay closed for the next several days after a kitchen fire last night. Multiple fire companies were called around 845 to the building on Fulton Avenue, and they say they got the flames under control pretty quickly. In a Facebook post, the Central Square American Legion says no one was hurt, but there is smoke and water damage, so it will be closed for a few days while cleanup happens. Bracing for worsening conditions, people in the Carolinas are now being urged to not let their guard down yet. As leaders warn floodwaters could continue to rise, at least 32 people have died since Florence made landfall last week, and more than 2,600 people have been rescued and evacuated so far. New at noon, we're getting a first look at the trailer for Escape at Dannemora, the limited series based on the story of the 2015 prison break from Clinton Correctional Facility. Richard Matt and David Sweat escaped, but Matt was later shot dead by officers and Sweat was recaptured. The series is directed by Ben Stiller and premieres in November on Showtime. Now here's Storm Team Meteorologist John DePasquale with a look at Central New York's most accurate forecast. Thanks a lot, Far. We take a look here at Live Doppler 9. It is nice and quiet. Uh, a big change compared to what it was very early this morning and last night. Here are some rainfall totals for you. Look at Bainbridge, southwestern Shenango County, almost four inches of rain. Had some issues down there with some flooding. Willett in Cortland County, almost three inches. Ithaca, almost an inch. Syracuse, about a third of an inch. And Oswego, nothing. That's right. North of, say, Onondaga County into Oswego, northern Wayne County. East of Lake Ontario, northern Ida County saw not one drop of rain. We take a look here at your forecast going for the rest of today. Intervals of sun developing a spotty shower as possible. Temperatures will be close to 80 degrees. And here's a quick look at your seven day. And you can see, looks like a nice day tomorrow. Less humid, a little breeze, some sun developing after some early fog. And then we've got a few showers trying to come back in here on Thursday with a warm front, which will make it summery again here on Friday. All right. A lot of changing weather for sure. Yes. That's our News Channel 9 at noon. For updates on these stories, head to localsyr.com. Have a great afternoon. See you later on at 4.